<laughs> I can't. I can't. Do it. I can't do it. Okay. Just to clarify, Brady, I'm looking forward to reading this book. <laughs> just because Tony can't control himself. Like that that I think your creative capabilities are quality, okay? What is up, guys? It is Overize here, and today we have a special guest. We have Brady. Bra, hello, bra, hello, bra, bra. hello. And we hey also yo. have Satu. Hey yo. So guys, this podcast for today is just it's a fun, it's a fun it's podcast. Just the boys. It's just the boys <laughs> talking, right? So, I'm sure you guys seen those aliens that they've announced in Mexico. Have I you? have seen the these <laughs> aliens. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they are interesting. You know, I thought they were a bit, you know, bit bit taller, but you know, they do look like ET. Do they- that is fair. They do look like ET in, in that regard, though. Have you read an article about it? Because I'm not gonna lie, I've only really skimmed through. Like headlines, Dude, it's, I haven't bothered. It's so mad the way they look. It just, ugh, it just freaks me out a little bit. I feel like I've seen like dolls like that in my gran- great grandparents' house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, a bit skinny, right? The the anorexic. Bone. They could use a sandwich. I ain't gonna lie. Why <laughs> That's do you think exactly <laughs> what I said to my parents? Like, they could, I think they just sandwich. You know what I mean? And they in in their time they couldn't afford one. But do you think that um they're actually aliens? Do you think that's I think the so, alien yeah. species we have? I think so, yeah. Well, I think there's be. more to it, of course, but sure. for sure. So you, now everyone believes in aliens now, right? Yeah. I've believed in aliens uh, for so a while. Me too, yeah. Is me that too. proof? That's actual concrete proof. That one, I don't know if that one's... I, I haven't bothered looking into it. I don't know whether or not it's going to be definitive proof of extraterrestrial life. But I feel like, let's not forget, not one, not two, but multiple governmental agencies across the world mm. all confirmed that they had reports of UFOs and extraterrestrial stuff. So I feel like that would be the real proof that we have. Whether or not these two dolls are <laughs> aliens, I don't know. But I don't know. Like, if they were, is that what you pictured aliens to look like? Yeah, 100%. Like, uh, really? Uh, that's yeah. what you think? Little gray? Well, I mean. Not I little, was expecting more like alien versus predator type like, of alien. Uh, you know? like, like those bigger. big kinds, yeah. yeah. Are you excited, Brady, for what's for what all these alien? Information I'm excited. Out? You know, I'm excited. I want to, you know, take a trip on the UFO. If we've got one, you know, suck me up there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> see what goes on. You know, would you would you bang an alien? Oh, definitely. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I thought you were going to. Oh, wait, sorry, we're not trying. No, 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 it's, oh, okay. no. By all means, by all means, I'd <laughs> the shit out of the alien. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll try. I don't know what they've got though. Like the aliens that look like them, because those are like a foot tall. Like, I don't know if that would like mechanically work. I think like those work. men in black aliens. Well, in I men think... in black, there was a lot of different that's aliens. True. So that's what I'm saying. That's okay. Well, let's go back to this first. If because that's one alien. If they were, if they are actual real a- aliens, yeah, I would want to know what the f- they speak. Language like, what wise, language. You know what communication. Th- that's do fair. They, do they not speak and they just communicate with their brains? You know? Telepathically? Yeah. Um, that's fair. Yeah. I and feel you like... You like scary me how they pee from their, their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, <laughs> I wonder that too. Yeah. Oh, that's just how we say hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like most humanoid aliens, which I feel like those were, would have some sort of like linguistic capability. Right. I wonder if we'd be able to communicate with them, you know what I mean? Yeah. We would have to be able to at the very minimum, right? Like something. Yeah. Like what's that movie with um Amy Adams where she Arrival? Yeah. yeah. Right? Where she cuz she's a, like a the head linguist or whatever and she communicates with the aliens even though they speak in like the fifth dimension. That would be sick if that was a thing. Imagine. I would like to check out the UFOs, though, you know. <laughs> Yeah, like for sure. You what, know. Do you want to just check out like the interior of the ship itself, or do you want to go to their like home world and go hang out oh, for a b- home world, mate, all the way? What would you want? What, what What is your perception of the alien home world? What do you want to go do there? A ping pong, mate. I think ping pong would be good with the aliens. You know, <laughs> you want to go to another galaxy and another planet just to play ping pong with yeah, some bro. aliens. <laughs> you know what? I can't really hate on that. That's fair. <laughs> Be some, you know, kick, kick the breeze, you know. I think it would be pretty fun, you know. Fair enough. Hit some I'd... balls, you know. <laughs> what if they can't? What if? They, but what if they're like a foot tall and they can't play ping pong? Well, you know, there's a stool there. They can stand on the stool. He's got know? a point, at They do have a stool. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're advanced at this point. Yeah, you know what? Advanced techn- That's a point. UFOs, I'm being ra- like weirdly <laughs> alien racist somehow. Forgive me on that one. <laughs> Is that even a thing? Being racist towards aliens? Is there different that would shades the- of an alien skin? Like do they do they have different are they different and if they, if they're and mm. is there genders? 
Um, and how many genders are there? <laughs> now we those those are good questions. I mean, I don't know if we have the science to answer those. I feel like if we're going upon the assumption that they're at least humanoid, then probably there's. I mean, like most animals in this world have some variety. I don't know if it's going to be skin or if it would be fur or whatever. Yeah. Genders. Um, I don't know. How do they reproduce? It depends. That's if they can thinking. reproduce, yeah. maybe. Do they lay eggs? That's, that's, see, that's what well, I'm saying. The thing is, right, in one of the information that was given to us, there was one alien where you can see three eggs inside. Holy shit. Yeah. That's fucking science. But is that part of them? Or like, you ever, like, is it a Prometheus thing where they crash landed here like a million years ago and there was some other thing here that, you know, like face huggers that just attacked them and laid their eggs and then if we accidentally put water on them, those eggs hatch, and it's 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 the. Oh, I see what you're doing with Gremlins thing. Are you? Are you, well, not Gremlins, but like Prometheus. Oh, okay. No, I've not you, seen Prometheus. You have? It's sick. You should watch. You, you watch Alien? Yes. You should watch Prometheus. It's I fucking love Alien. What, what's the movie? Alien. Prometheus. Oh, sorry, Michael Prometheus. Fassbender, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 It's pretty. It's the right. Prometheus is the prequel to the Alien series. Oh, okay. So it's it's right. pretty dope in that sense. I'll check that. So out. So I'm gonna move away from the Alien story sure, since mate, we've covered is, that. Okay. Though, <laughs> okay, go on. So I'm just gonna have to throw a bunch of questions to you guys. Okay? Yeah, we're just wrapping. We're just we're just wrapping. We're, we're just, 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 right? in it, my boys. So would you sell your soul to <laughs> the devil? <laughs> For what you know? No, I wouldn't sell. It. You know, what I do. You guys are doing such a great job. Here's a tip. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Brady, would you sell your soul to? The I devil? would. I would. Probably for what? For, for I don't what? know. Six pack of beer and then some cigarettes, possibly. You know. <laughs> <laughs> pack of smokes. <laughs> um, you wouldn't want a little bit more? <laughs> Maybe a twelve pack at the very well, least. Depends, mate. Depends. I think what day it is, you know. <laughs> what would you actually sell your soul to the devil for? You know what? Yeah, what would you actually sell your soul to the devil for? Mm, that's I don't know. I don't think I would actually. It's an interesting question because mm. you sell your soul, you're not getting your soul back, right? No, and it would presuppose a like a Abrahamic monotheistic view of the world, which, if that's the case, because a lot of people would say money and fame, right? Or would you? Uh, not money and fame. Something better than that, you know. Something true love. Well, you power. sell your soul for true love. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. That would be good. Yeah, true love. Yeah. Would you sell your soul to the devil for anything? No, I think I'm good. A stick of gum. <laughs> A stick of gum. <laughs> it, it makes me. It, it makes me. You ever watch? You ever watch Constant, John Constantine? Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. By the way, there's a second one of those coming out. Um, and you know how like when he um dies, the devil comes to collect his soul personally. Spoiler alert. It's a really old movie, though, so it shouldn't be too much of a spoiler. And then you ever watch um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 2, where Jack has sold his soul to Davy Jones? Yeah. And Davy Jones comes to collect his soul, mm-hmm. and Jack starts bargaining by saying, well, how many souls is my soul worth, right? And Davy Jones says 100 souls, right? How many souls is your soul worth? God damn, I'm getting semantic satiation just from saying soul. <laughs> How many souls is your soul worth if you're selling it for a six pack or a stick of gum? <laughs> a stick That's of my gum. question. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do a stick of gum. I don't think I would in the first place anyway. Well, okay. W- what about if you sell your soul, the soul of all of those you love would be destined to go to heaven? Shoot. Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. Probably. Shoot. Probably. Huh. Would you? Would you would you make that sacrifice for all of those that you love? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Can I get that in writing? <laughs> <laughs> Satan is among us. Don't don't sign that paper. <laughs> um, would you say, bro? I don't need like I'm down to hang out with my boy Diablo. You know what I mean? Um, I mean for that situation, yes. Realistically. I mean, no, and I, I don't know. I don't feel like you could sell your soul to the devil. I feel like it's very archaic and anarchic sort of like way of looking at it. I don't, I don't think the That's devil's fair. out there trying to get you to sell your soul. I think in the real world, you need to manage the vices and things you do in order to like live happily. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's my thoughts on it. So, again, just throwing out questions, all right? Yeah. I'm listening. We should be over the five minute mark, right? I, yeah. Mashallah. I all hope right. So. If you had a second dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't even go there, mate. If I had a second <laughs> dick, I'd be the happiest motherfucker on planet Earth. <laughs> but it depends on the size. I need both of them to be fucking big, don't I? 
You don't want one shorter and one longer. I just like to flip. I'll just flip both of them out and go look at that. You know, mm. I've got a, I've got two cocks, mate. It's it's actually quite <laughs> impressive. I, <laughs> it would it would if be someone, if someone took out two cocks. I'm not gay or anything. No, I'd look, I'd I like, get what you mean. Respect, mate. You're a, you're you're from that fucking alien planet. Possibly. <laughs> what 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 was the end of your question? No, I'm very curious. No, two cocks are impressive. No, well, I, I mean, suppose. I, I was just gonna ask, what would you do if you had it? <laughs> like, like, oh. but he's like, I, Brady was like, yeah, I'm gonna respect the person. You know what I mean? Well, that's fair. Well, that one, has two cocks. One for yeah, generation, one for coming, maybe or. One for the nation and one for what? You know, no, you're a nation. nation. Oh, I'm like, one, one for, for the, the nation. nation. <laughs> I'm like, one for the nation and then one for family. I'm like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> um, wait, if, if one is for your nation and one is for coming, you would have to have, like, your your gonads or what? I don't know how about it. you have four would balls? You have, yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Do you have yeah. two balls each, cock? Or? Do you imagine if you had four balls? I feel like that would be more of a hindrance, to be honest with you. Two is already quite difficult Mate, to manage. Mate, you're going to be you know in mean? a fucking uh, museum. <laughs> Seriously. Like, you're, they'll probably fucking take both of your cocks and put it in the museum. <laughs> I would really hope not. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just picturing it right now. Like, you're just in a glass. You go to the museum. And you see, like, this glass. Uh, what do you call it? Hey, look case. Two, this glass the case. It's like. Cocks. Two cocks and four balls. You know, apparently, you know Rasputin, the the advisor to the Tsar of Russia. Yeah. Um. He, um apparently, he was extremely well endowed, and his phallus hangs in a museum. So it's not out of the realms of possibility. So there is a cock in the museum. Is uh, that what you're saying? I, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's actually a museum of cocks. This is this is better than the ailing thing, bro. I, I, Legit. Like, if there's a cock in the fucking museum, that'd be oh, look at the cock. Oh, I, testicles, is it? Huh? Oh, Neil Armstrong. His testicles are apparently no according way. to our, our cameraman. I don't Fuck, know. Man. I, that feels a little fucked up. Like well, he has I'm a cancer bit now. Huh? Well, he has cancer. Wait, Neil or cancer. Lance? <laughs> what do you mean, Lance? Which Armstrong? The one that went to the moon, or the one that won all the bike races? Who? Okay, so the astronaut. His um, interesting. Okay, but my point being is like. <laughs> I don't even know. You know what? I don't even know what to say. But I did read an article, yeah. which is interesting. I have no idea if it's true or not. Um, not even an article. I read the headline of an article as I was scrolling through my thing. Apparently, there's I, people do have um, multiple sex organs, and apparently, one woman had um, two two vulvas. She used one for work and one for her personal life. As well, now she was we're a talking. Porn star. Now we're talking. That would be amazing. I suppose. Mm. I suppose. Um, yeah. But apparently, Tony's just been given some information. Yeah. L Lance Armstrong's left nut. Oh, left one. So not He's the right one. So Lance, not Neil. It's Lance. Yeah, Lance is... The, the cyclist. Yeah. Neil's the one that went yeah, to the moon. Neil, yeah. So it's Lance. Mm. So that seems a little fucked up because, like, you know he lost that nut because of, of cancer. Yeah. Right? I, th I thought it was just a bicycle ac accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It. Oh, Jesus. I know this is a while ago, but the whole reason he was, like, a thing was... So he had cancer, lost his nut, started doing, you know, Tour de France, all the different bike rides. That's why you remember the armbands, the Live Strong armbands? And and then he was disgraced because he used, like, steroids or something. Oh, wow. Fair enough. So, um, I don't know. I guess ponder the, the, the mysticisms of life. That that would be my answer if, if, if one man had two phalluses. Like, that would be the only thing you really could do. Okay. I would like mine in the museum, too. Really? Can, yeah. It would be interesting. To what, to see your... Your nut well, sack. I'll be dead. On your, the museum. Like when I die, don't donate my. Like if, like, if, like for example, right? You have your kids in the future, and like, yeah. Your wife, she's like, all right, let's go visit dad. Yeah, at the museum. Instead of the, like, the cemetery, it's like, oh, here's your dad's <laughs> nut sack. Hold up, hold up. That, that that assumes that the rest of his body was just what chucked to the whales. Yeah, like, pretty much. Like they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like they cut off his nuts, gonads, and just like what the rest of him. No, well, you could put his urn on the left side, and then his just testicle on the right. Mm. You said you had more questions for us. <laughs> I, I, feel like I actually like, do. Okay. Well, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this just to, just to give some context, Brady been the homie from back in the day. Yeah. We haven't seen Brady in a hot minute. Long Brady time, came long through. Time. We're like, we have to have him on the podcast. <laughs> oh, why do we have to have him on the podcast? These are the conversations we have when it's just. <laughs> <hot>. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brady and Satsu, uh -huh. would you guys date an OF girl? I would. 
I would. That's that was so quick. <laughs> <good. laughs> but like knowing, knowing she's doing content with other people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up! You just said OF. Like as long as I can do content with other people as well. Uh huh. What? I can do content with other people as well. You know. She's doing content. Wait, so you would start at your OnlyFans? No, well, I, I won't do OnlyFans, but I can. Oh yeah, content. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, so, like, for example, okay. you met this nice girl. Okay, nice she's girl. Cute. Cute. Sexy. She's, she's, she's an OF girl. Okay, OF. She, OF. she has an OnlyFans. She makes sexually explicit content. Okay. Would you date her? If I get a free subscription. That's a fair answer. I. I well, it mm, doesn't, you know, you don't need to, really. I was about to say, but. That's also fair. But, but <laughs> your, your question is, is. If she makes content with other people. Yes. What if I can make contact with her as well? Or instead as well. Oh. Instead or as well? As well. So okay, that still should be making content with other people. Yes. Yeah. Mm, hell no. Hell no. Yeah, I wouldn't. Mm. You would? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I respect it. Like I have nothing That's against fair. individuals that can. I and I mean I, I I'm As so long as she doesn't give me a red cock or anything, I'm good. Why would it be? You know, like Venereal disease, my yeah, friend. Venereal like disease. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? What are you guys doing in bed? Oh, if she has sex with other people, <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> explain to me, please. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, long and short of it, no, probably not. No. I, I don't know if it's just It'd me. It'd be I better would... if she was like a porn star. Not well, she would, that, that, that is effectively a porn thing. star. More professional, yeah. I think. It would be know? the same. Well, thing, I feel like though, it's. it's would you think OF, she's still banging another guy? Well, OF, OF could be, you know, fingering on the toilet That's or some true. shit. You know? but no, but, so well, let me ask you this question, though. You said it's more professional. Do you think porn stars are more professional than OnlyFans creators? No, 100%. I would say that. Yeah. Well, Why is that? Of, because with with porn, it's more organized. There's a studio. There's equipment. Not with always. With OnlyFans, it's mostly like you can do it by yourself. Well, OnlyFans, you can just tape your fucking feet and put them on there. You know? It's also true. <laughs> no. Jack off to some feet, you know? That is true. <laughs> Have a Which, bit of a by the way, <laughs> we're going to launch the Overrise Gaming Channel soon. <laughs> Perhaps the owner <laughs> Only Rice <laughs> Foot Channel. I don't know. Five likes? No, no. Um, not at all. <laughs> no, but, but if you think about it, right? Like, a lot of those porn studio studios are like really malicious, right? Yeah. They the, the girls just turned eighteen, they get her, or they pay her this or they that, or it's just really not like sanitary working environment. And I don't mean like in terms of, of like cleanliness. I mean in terms of like well, I'd definitely do the blue light around the fucking place and see um, how much cum there is. <laughs> <laughs> not in terms of cleanliness. Well, in terms, <laughs> but like mm, the studios use often. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but like they, they kind of just get... dark, and then you're the only thing that's like no, everything's like white. And the only thing that's clean, I'm like, oh. <laughs> you flip the light, mm, invert colors, you know what I mean? No, but, like, studios tend to take advantage of people. And on, you can be a porn star and still put, like, amateur porn and shit, right? But, like, I feel like OF to pornography is what YouTube is to, like, mainstream media. And I'd make the argument that, like, if you're a successful and quality YouTuber, you do have a studio, et cetera, et cetera. You, as a matter of fact, you have even more because you build your own studio, you hire your own editors, this, that, the other. So do you not think that an OF creator would be on like a, 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 a professional one like one who does it consistently on par with like a level of a porn star from what i've seen not not so far from what you see man okay <laughs> um, sorry from what i've researched <laughs> 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 oh shit exposed no really because like w w what makes what just the, just the fact that there's a studio name behind it makes sorry, it more it's not what i've seen it's what i've heard on the streets on the streets. You have to pay, don't exactly. you have to pay like, <laughs> monthly. Yeah. You're just digging yourself deeper. So it's like a subscription, right? Because I, I yeah, I've never checked out OnlyFans, but everyone's talking about it. You know? <laughs> 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 I've never checked out OnlyFans. Dude, I, porn, porn. You know, porn. It's like, mm, I've heard of this sliced bread before, but you, it's you, you still have bread. the grocery. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what is OnlyFans? <laughs> like, I've heard of it. I've heard of a McChicken. <laughs> <laughs> a big fish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your question? Wait, <laughs> wait where was it? I don't know. I'm <laughs> fucking, uh, yeah, the, the only fans. fans yeah. yeah, yeah. So I haven't actually subscribed to any. Okay. You know, yeah. Okay. But you know, it's interesting. You know, people do it. You know. Okay. All good. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying you would date an OnlyFans chick if yeah, you made content with other people? 
Possibly. Depends. That's fair. Depends, you know, who she is. It's fair. I wouldn't. So. Uh, no, I, I don't think I'm emotionally okay. um, in the place for that. But I can't understand the people that do. Okay, so since we're on the spectrum. If I get a cut out of it. Huh? If I get a cut out of the, the payment. Anyway. Move on, move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can women and men be friends? I mean, you know how sometimes it gets complicated with, like, with guys especially being close to girls. <laughs> <laughs> their, their mentality, their mentality, just was oh, like, sure. "Oh my god, I can actually date this person." But then the girls like, "I just want to be friends." But <laughs> like, guy like, sense is like, oh, "It's gonna be tough, you know." <laughs> I like you, but the girls like, "No, get away from me." You know? So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> do you think that men and women can friends, just friends with benefits or just friends? Just friends, bro. <laughs> just friends, just friends, <laughs> just friends. No benefits yeah. at all. Oh, I mean, do you think? Do you think men and women can be friends? I think so. Yeah, yeah. with benefits. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I think absolutely men and women can just be friends. Really? Absolutely, because if you're in like a stable enough place emotionally, what you're saying is, uh, sure, I get it, right? I get where that mentality comes from. But also that mentality is like, hmm, I, it's either I do heroin right now or I don't. Why? <laughs> Why such extremes? You know what I mean? You can just live your day without needing that. So if you're like, you know, emotionally, sexually, mentally healthy – then yes, you're not trying to sleep with every woman that comes it, through. It's it's very it's very tough for um, if for me, I, of course, because guys we get so invested into a girl, and we always want to look into oh my god, this person's really cool, really dope. I could actually get into a relationship with this person, right? You know what I mean? But then of course, I'm not going to speak for the girl, but I'm just going to hypothetical speak. She's going to be like, ah, you know what? I don't seem in that way. So you're just going to crush the guy. Right, you know what I mean? Like crushes emotions or sure. some sense, and it's tough because when a guy gets really close to a girl and they like really click, and they both don't have the same vision right, of, of of some sorts, then it's like, oh, here we come, we're gonna go down the the hole again. Do you know what I mean? I do, but I, again, I feel like that, it's gonna that, be that's tough. more a personal reflection of the choices you're capable of making. Not unless if that girl has a boyfriend. <laughs> Generally. Then we can be friends. No, generally. It's like, <laughs> like, like, are you really... One, you have how many female friends? Do that have boyfriends? A couple of them don't. I'm pretty sure. But my point being yeah, who, is... Who are these people? Uh, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know the roster of your female friends. But my point me being either, is... Me apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I barely know the roster of your friends. You got like, well, me, him, <laughs> the people in this room. <laughs> Right, no, so but I have um, four friends now. <laughs> don't worry, you're loved. No, but realistically speaking, right? Like, if you're in a place like where you're not like struggling for a relationship, you're not like worried about, oh, I need this validation or I need this sexual um, experience or this or the other. Then you're not trying to get that from every single person. So yeah, you can just be friends with women. But if if you're in that place where, man, I need the sexual gratification, man, I am so lonely. I need that like. Emotional and yeah, the emotional plus thing, yeah. intimacy. You, you're not, you know, spending too much time with each other. You're friends, but you're not always with each other. I think helps if you're friends. Well, yeah, not, I mean, if you're always with if each you're other, the there's always going to be that sexual tension. I think. Yeah, I think if you were in a group, then I would say 100 percent because, yeah. of course, you're doing it as a group. But if it's like one one, it's going to be a lot harder, in my opinion. Again, if if you're if you're like balanced and stable, I don't think it's so hard because if you think about it, are you trying to have sex with Brady? What now? Brady. Okay, I'm yes. being... It's a rhetorical no. question. The, no, sad, the question Brady? is no. Yes. Did you hear what he said? God damn it. I'm waiting for you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, are, are, are you trying to look at Brady to fulfill your emotional, sexual, and mental needs? No. Right? Like he's a guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> like, yes. Like, the last fuck? time I checked, yeah. <laughs> if that's how you... Yeah, yeah last time I checked, later, I guess. Yeah. I'll, I'll okay, will. my point Thanks being is the same way that you can be like, hmm, yeah, Brady doesn't need to fulfill my emotional, mental, intimate, intimate and sexual needs. Yeah. You can look at a female and just because she may be of another gender, you'd be like, hmm, you don't also have to fulfill my emotional, mental, sexual needs. We can just chill, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think yes. But then again, if you start fucking around, be like, man, you know, I love you. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yes, thank you for baking cookies for me. <laughs> oh my God, have you heard of what's happening? And you start like blurring the boundaries. Then right, yes, yeah. you know what I mean. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you need the boys to take care of your needs, just 
Let us know. <laughs> uh, apparently, today's sponsors better. <laughs> right. But speaking of today's sponsor, let's hear from them. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Tony from Overice, and today's sponsor is Fundamentals. They are handcraft, hand delivered, and handmade in the Philippines. So check them out on Instagram and Facebook. They got a bunch of products for you guys. They got a sample pack where you can bring on the go, and they also got a regular size bottle. They're for men and female. So check them out, guys. Fundamentals. Peace. Thank so you today's sponsor. Thank you. What what sort of plans do we have in <laughs> regard to that? Well, you said you're studying, right? Like you're studying finance. Yeah, yeah. I started finance course. I um I've been doing writing course to do creative writing course. That's good. You know, just doing a lot. Oh, Tagalog. I'm studying Tagalog. Ah, yeah. what do you, what Tagalog words do you know right now? Oh, putang <laughs> I, it, just from the moment you opened your mouth, I knew that's what he was going to say. Uh, <laughs> you know I mean? Do you know any other words besides yeah. that? Maraming, uh, maraming magandang babae dito, talaga. Not that surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you learning Tagalog? Online. It's a website called Preply. Shout out. And um, learning with a nice uh, Filipina. Okay. To learn Tagalog, and I've been doing that for a couple months now. Big ups. Yeah, no, congratulations. Month, that's great. Yeah. yeah. And... How's the creative writing going? Have you like written anything? Good, yeah, to share? yeah, I have. Um, a boy, <laughs> a boy. I'm doing because my story's meant to be. Um, <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You just said a boy. Like, I want to hear the rest of the sentence. <laughs> it's it's about a boy in Tondo. Okay. Okay, and the boy in Tondo. I'm I'm listening. You have my attention. I'm captivated. <laughs> The boy in Tondo becomes successful and gets That's out fantastic. of Tondo That's fantastic. by um, writing a book. So the book is about the boy writing the book <laughs> <laughs> to get out of Tondo. But all, to become <laughs> successful. <laughs> it's a book in a book. <laughs> I got the concept. I understand it. I'm trying to get to the main point, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so he's writing a book, like a self autobiography of how yeah. he can get out of there, yeah. and that's the story that you're. Are you his actually... life, his life in Tondo. Though. Okay, like, what he struggles, right. his his desires. You know, you're actually writing this. Yeah, no, I did. I wrote. Wrote a bit of it, but I have to edit it. Sure. You know? Can we read this? Can you share it with us? <laughs> yeah, I can. I don't know. I don't know why you're laughing. I know that he's just <laughs> he's laughing, laughing at anything he's you say, bro. Because he's like, I've written a book about a boy in Tondo who's trying to get out and be successful. I'm like, cool. You, you. The and moment he said that, boy, no, you no, started no. laughing because I had a feeling in my head already where this story's gonna go. <laughs> and as soon as he sounds like, oh god, here it comes. And he's like, yeah. the <laughs> I can't. Okay. I can't. Anyway, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, so he's writing a book. Right? Yeah. And he gets out Tondo by writing a book. <laughs> you know, it's 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's meant to be an inspiring it's, kind of thing. It's uh, what's was it's a meta commentary. I get yeah, that. Do you have a title for this book? The boy, sh- story. boy Tondo. <laughs> that's not. I don't know. What, that's not. <laughs> oh my god. Because I've been to Tondo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. Okay. Just to clarify, Brady, I'm looking forward to reading this book. Just because Tony can't control himself. Like that that I think your creative capabilities are quality, okay? I don't think he's making fun of you. Fuck him if he is. I'm, John, I'm so sorry. This is just so funny to me. You, you realize you're also an asshole. Like Brady's talking about a creative book he's writing. Yeah. And he just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, oh. I'm not the only one laughing. Dude, I'm fucking leaking everywhere. <laughs> Dude, I, I have. Uh. This is a, like the first time I'm like this. Our camera guy, our audio guy are all <laughs> laughing yeah. so much with me. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm trying to keep. Thank this God you're together. here today. <laughs> okay, that's great, though. I'm yeah. happy you're writing a book. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, if you want, no pressure, when you're done with it, like we can like post it on social media together as a collaboration or whatever. Oh, well, that would be I'd love to know. read it. Yeah. It sounds dope. Please, man. Please. 
would love to report. <laughs> I want that <laughs> motherfucker. I want to support my friend's creativity. Yeah, I, I will, fuck, man. I will. I will too. Uh, you you gonna read what? I'm, I'm a boy's <laughs> thunder. <laughs> yeah, and I can't wait for the what? Netflix movie to come out. I, well, you know what? They will be. be. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Be yeah, definitely. Are you, are you the boy? I'm starving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're the I'm fucking starring in that shit, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> you know? Um, so, in, in shedding, re- shedding light on the uh, province of Tondo. Basically. No, that I totally As get. Well. What kind of brought you about to, like, why was this where you felt your creativity was best um, well, exemplified? I was, meant to, I was meant to write for the assignment that I had for the writing course, and I had to pick a subject, right? Okay. And what I'm saying, I'm in the Philippines and I recently went to Tondo to check it out because I wanted to go to the, apparently it's the, people say it's the most populated of poverty, you know, it's the most, yes. yeah. in Smoky Mountain. Yeah. So yeah. I went there to check it out and drove through the streets. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, I checked it out and said, yeah, that'd be a great thing to Story. write about okay. to, to, you know, get that, you know. I hear you. I no that that sounds like a legitimate. I don't, I don't know where the humor comes from. He he has thought of something creative. He went to go do the research and see it for himself. So he has yeah. an emotional response. Yeah, I have and then he went to go with write it. something. But I love this country. Yeah, I love, you know, yeah. I, yeah. I, love I love this country love, too, this, man. This is like a, my second home. You know, clearly, yeah, yeah. no, because you're here just by yourself, right? I love the people, the culture, everything, and Damn um, right. You know, I'd like to write a book about a boy in Tondo. Are you are you like trying to pursue writing more? I would if you know it's <laughs> it's if it goes well, you know. What's no, I mean just generally because like this is your first prompt. <laughs> oh, you, do you have another book in line? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it called? The Gail and Tondo. <laughs> the next ones are gonna be the Gail and Tondo. Riveting. And yeah. let me guess, she's singing a song about herself singing a song yes. of getting out of Tondo. She becomes she come, becomes famous. Because of singing. Dude, there's a lot of talented Filipinos. Actually. There's no question about it, yeah. but goddamn, Brady. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Brady, I loved having you on. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> from my, what's happening to my face. Um, you gotta pull it together. Pull it together, man. Thanks, <laughs> 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 um, no, Brady, I really appreciate you coming on the pod today. Well, I appreciate it, too. Man. I hope you enjoyed. I, I had a I blast. What today. a fucking dead hand, Jake. That, he's your homeboy. I can't Tap he, him up. Bro, his hand. Switch the mic. No, oh, not yeah, the, his no, hand no. Broken. <laughs> I'm an asshole. He's yeah. fucking up his hand. Is that. <laughs> yeah, boy. Guys. Yeah. If you enjoyed Brady, if you enjoyed this podcast, please hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> I love having being on the show and anytime, yeah. you know, I'll swing by. Most definitely. With, show the, with the book of Tondo, with the boy of Tondo. You know what? Honestly, if you're down, what we can do is we can schedule Brady to come back another time. Leave down in the comments if you want to hear. Like, we can release a video yeah. of a dramatic reading, like, as the author. I can't. No, no, I, just, him? Yeah, just him? Just him. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Pull it together. We're doing an outro, okay? <laughs> Leave a comment if you want to hear a dramatic reading of Brady reading A Boy in Tondo. It could be enlightening. I have faith in my friend's creativity. I have faith in him, too. I the fuck you do. <laughs> I do, bro. I think it's be a great story. <laughs> oh, it is. It is so far. Yeah. How long is it so far? Huh? How long is it? How long is it? Oh, How long is the... A couple of pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far. <laughs> Okay, so you know what? I, I got it. I, I'll take over for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think. If you want Brady to come back, um, get us a shout out. Follow us on our socials, and we'll catch you next time. Uh, peace, guys. We've been over. See, see you guys. Peace.